on the Bob Mills Weather Center, meteorologist Andrew Adams. Well, it is a gorgeous morning, sunny skies, snow still holding on on the grass. That'll change later this afternoon. A lot of this is going to melt today. Already 31. So Guthrie camera, our entire Pike Pass Sky Cam Network shows the sun and we're starting to see that freezing line cut into the state 40s in western and southwestern Oklahoma. Nice. We're getting close to it in the metro now 39 in El Reno, so steadily warming, staying cold up in the northeast. That'll be a trend throughout the day today. But as temperatures warm, our wind chills get nicer, so they feel like the teens up there. We feel like the 20s and low 30s across central, southwestern, and western Oklahoma. Maybe some 20 wind chills still holding on to the north. So not overall bad for us. I like it and I like what I see here, which is all the sunshine out to the east. There's our storm system that brought all that snow now pummeling the snow, uh, the northeast with the snow and bringing in a strong cold front along the eastern seaboard. Most of those folks are about to miss out on the heavy rain that'll get out of there. Some strong thunderstorms in Florida as well. They saw a potential tornado in the Tampa area. Cold for us though, nothing like that. We've got some rain on the nine day though, because here's what happens. So the cold air leaves us alone. Our next storm system is this one. You see it come into the Pacific Northwest tomorrow. We get a fire threat. We're dry and warm tomorrow, but this storm system comes across maybe some showers on Monday in central Oklahoma. Best chance for storms to the southeast. That goes away. Steady warming through the week ahead. We're going to be in the 70s by Wednesday and Thursday. And then by Thursday evening, another wave comes through, brings us a chance for thunderstorms. I think this wave has a better chance for giving more of us the rain and storms. But at this point, we're watching this one. It's been something we've been watching for the last couple of days, but still watching that as that is a few days away. That clips away, and then by the weekend, we're nice. Neither of these storm systems really get us cold. Maybe a quick cool down, but that's about it. Nothing wintry feeling like. This system brings some extra winter up to the Rocky Mountains on Monday, maybe some showers for us. So that's what we're looking like over the next nine to 10 days. Temperature wise this weekend, it's going to be nice. Low 50s in Oklahoma City, 53 from really north to south. I-35 mid 50s is about as warm as we get. 40s up to the northeast. Heading to west Oklahoma, you start to see 60 pop up. So warming trend, southwest wind stays pretty breezy overnight tonight, 10 to 20 miles per hour, and then ramps up tomorrow. We're going to be really comfortable mid to upper 60s in central Oklahoma, 64 in Oklahoma City, 70 Altus, Woodward, 71 in Alva, 73 Guyman, a 20 to 35 mile per hour sustained winds with gusts around 45 at times and even drier air. That's going to give us an extreme fire risk tomorrow. It's going to be very dry from the metro west and into the panhandle and still pretty dry in eastern Oklahoma, holding on to a moderate fire risk out east. So that's something to keep in mind for tomorrow. And then we fast forward another day, head into Monday, and there comes our cold front. We're not going to be cold in Oklahoma City, 65 degrees, 50s up in the panhandle following the cold front. But we are going to be monitoring the chance for some rain with this as we go through the afternoon. For the metro, most of central Oklahoma and southwest Oklahoma, it looks like maybe a couple showers. Best chance for heavy rain and thunderstorms as well to the southeast. And then we're dry before we get to midnight Tuesday morning. So 20% chance for a couple of those showers from Altus through Oklahoma City into Tulsa. Heavier rain, better chance for thunderstorms to the southeast. That's where not only is there going to be more moisture, but that's also where we're going to have more of that instability, more of that rising air. So maybe some quarter size hail and 60 mile per hour wind gusts out of those storms in southeast Oklahoma as the cold front comes through. But like I said, it's not going to bring us any wintry type feel. The cold front only knocks us down to the low 60s Tuesday afternoon and we spring right back into the 70s Wednesday and Thursday. So certainly feeling like spring for a lot of that nine day.